Hey friends, what's up? Kyle's here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial series, otherwise known as Bucket Plugin Tutorials. Now, I do these every week on Fridays, so feel free to hit that subscribe button if you're joining me for the first time. This is actually going to be a double header because I thought this was a really quick and easy plugin, and I'm going to do it in under three minutes. Uh, this one was requested by Ethan H. If you have a suggestion or a request for a plugin tutorial you'd like to see, feel free to comment below, but please do a quick search on my YouTube channel because I've done about 80 of these, a lot of the most popular ones, but if I do yours, um, I capture all those and I will get to it uh, eventually. I got quite the backlist, but that's how it goes. So let's get into it. This plugin is called Pearl World Plugin. It is uh, made by Miles C. It's a great plugin, really simple and easy, does something really awesome. I really like it because it's very, um, very clever, very simple. And he's got a great little guide here in the config file. The way he set this up, fantastic. So, like I said, you pretty much want to leave these true. That's fine. You can run into some problems if you change this. You can modify this block message if you, if somebody tries to run a plugin in a blocked world. You have a couple of variables available. You got player, world, and plugin as they are on the screen right now. And what you do is you you drop this plugin in your plugins folder, start your server. It's going to grab the list of all the plugins you're running, and then you can modify that here. If you do not modify it, it's going to run on all worlds by default. And then what you do to to remove one, you just remove the brackets, hit return. Be sure to make sure you get uh, two spaces, and then set the world that you want it to run in. So it's only going to run on that world, but I don't want to do that because I want that running all over. And that's it. Quick and easy. Stop and restart your server, and then it's good to go. If you add a plugin, you stop and restart your server like you always do to load the config file for that plugin, and then this config will update. Side note of that, it will not actually remove plugins if you stop using them, so you have to do that manually. Like I said, this was very simple, quick, and easy. So feel free to like comment and subscribe if you found this helpful be sure to check out the author's plugin the link is in the jibbles below and that is all i got this is cons from mcfriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless are we close enough i don't think we're close enough yep goodbye <laughs> sucker oh that's great <laughs>